Hello everyone. Till now we have discussed about prism, pyramid, inverted pyramid, and frustum. Now let's see how to draw isometric projection of a sphere and hemisphere. Draw the isometric projection of a sphere of diameter 50 mm. Now, from the past experience, we know that for a sphere, the view from all directions will be a circle of same diameter. So, for this sphere, if we are observing from this direction, say this is the point from where we are going to observe, and this will be the direction. Then the view of this sphere will be a area or will be a shape obtained on a plane perpendicular to the direction of observation. Again, the view of this sphere will be a shape or area or plane projected on a plane perpendicular to the direction of observation in other words for the same you can assume a plane passing through the center of sphere perpendicular to the direction of observation and the region or area covered by that imaginary plane will be the final view and for all cases for all angles for all directions of observation the same will be a circle circle of same diameter so the final view over here will be a circle of same diameter but the question is from where to start here the sphere is resting on hp so in the domain of this sphere two points first the center of the solid center of the sphere and second the point of contact of the sphere and hp these two points are very important out of which the second point point of contact of sphere and hp is the center the point is the center of the projected circle from the top view so if we start from the horizontal plane or if we start from the first point point of contact along this horizontal plane then we have to locate the first point which is the point of contact and the same is the center of the projected circle so here first of all we have to draw the projected circle here along horizontal plane then we have to mark the center center of the projected circle and that point will be the point of contact of the sphere and hp then from that point we have to mark the center or center of the sphere by drawing line parallel to third iso axis or you can say vertical axis in upward direction so we will get the center of sphere then from the center center of the sphere simply we have to draw the circle by taking true radius true radius of the sphere which is 25 here so we have to start from the point of contact then we have to mark the solid center and then we have to draw the circle here we are trying to find the center of the projected circle which is also the center of the helping figure and we know that the helping figure for the circle is a square so simply projecting that helping figure or square by taking side 50 so we have to take iso 50 a long horizontal plane and then marking the center locating center of this helping figure simply by bisecting all sides and then drawing lines from them we will get the center center of the helping figure also center of the projected circle in this center of the projected circle is the point of 
contact. This is the point of contact. Now, from this point, we have to draw a line parallel to third isoaxis, parallel to third isoaxis, vertically upwards, and length will be iso 25. So, from this point, we have to draw a line of length iso 25 in upwards direction. And this is the solid axis or a radius joining center to the point of contact. Now next we have to draw the circle circle by taking 225 as radius. So this point as center and radius equals to 225. 225 we have to draw the circle. So this is the final answer where this circle is representing the final view, final projection of the sphere. This point is the solid center or center of the sphere and this point is the point of contact of sphere and horizontal plane. For dimensioning, this height from the point of contact to the center of the sphere is 25 and radius of the, uh, of the sphere here is true 25 and this is the direction direction of observation so here C is the center O is the point of contact height or radial height or the distance from the point of contact and the center is I so 25 and radius of the circle here is equals to 225. So this is final projection. The second case, hemisphere. Draw the isometric projection of a hemisphere of dia 50 mm resting on its circular or flat face on HP. Here, the solid hemisphere is resting on its circular or flat face on HP. So we have to start from horizontal plane or we have to project a circle along HP first. So projecting the circle of dia 50 mm along first and second iso axis or along horizontal plane by taking iso 50, iso 50 along first and second axis then we have to draw the isometric projection of helping figure which is a square here next we have to mark all four midpoints next we have to join two opposite corners or diagonal by length which is larger next from midpoint to corner we have to join lines from midpoint to corner as shown. Now we have all four centers of rotation with us. These are four centers. So taking this center, first center, and this as first radius, this will be first part. Now this as second center, this as second radius, this is second part, third center, third radius and similarly fourth center and fourth radius. So this is the projection, isometric projection of the circular face which is resting on HP or which is contained by HP. Next, upper part of sphere. 
Now here, if we draw a line joining these two corners, the point of intersection of two diagonals is the center of this sphere or an imaginary sphere or the same is the center of this circular plate and taking this point as center and from this point to the extreme end of the circular domain or the intersection point of this circular part and this diagonal from this point to this point this is the radius we have to draw the circle so this is the upper part of the sphere or hemisphere and this is the lower part here in case of sphere which is circular so the front portion of the hemisphere is visible and the rear portion is hidden so we have to show only this part so this is the projection of hemisphere which is resting on its circular or flat face and the diameter is 50 diameter 50 in direction of observation.